Hey, hey, girls and guys, and welcome to an original $16,000 question from the TV quiz show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? My name is Magda, I'm a mathematician from Germany, and for me, this question would be quite easy. But of course, we always have to consider that if you are in a TV show in the spotlights and you're trying to win a lot of money, then you're of course under pressure and even simple questions may be difficult to answer. The question was, which of these square numbers also happens to be the sum of two smaller square numbers? Is it A, the 16, B, the 25, C, the 36 or D, the 49? And the poor guy on the chair didn't know the answer by himself, unfortunately, so he asked in the studio. And the surprise was that the poll showed this. 50% went for A, 30% for B, 19% for C and 1% for D. And of course, what did he do? He trusted the audience. And he locked in A, 16, and lost. And that's quite a pity, because, as we all know, the Pythagorean theorem is quite easy to remember, and it says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And one of the most well-known triplets fulfilling this equation is 3, 4, and 5. So 3 squared, 3 to the power of 2, plus 4 squared, 4 to the power of 2, equals 5 squared, so 5 to the power of 2. And this means that 9 plus 16 is 25. So 25 can be written as the sum of two smaller square numbers, which are 9 and 16. So B is the correct answer. And now we all know what we can respond to pupils that are asking us what the Pythagorean theorem would be good for in real life. For another question from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Check out this video. And for more puzzles and geometry problems, take a look at this playlist. Have fun, enjoy mathematics and see you soon.